Jesus had a close friend named John. It was John who baptized Jesus that time when the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. And Jesus heard the voice of God say, You are my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased. John was what is called a prophet, which in the Bible is somebody who tells kings and other powerful people when they aren't being the good leaders God wants them to be, when they are treating their people unfairly, especially the little people who don't have any power. So John told the king who ruled in those parts, King Herod, that he was doing some evil things that hurt people. And for telling the king the truth, Herod had John arrested and thrown in jail, where eventually he was killed. When word got back to Jesus about what Herod had done to his friend John, well, it made Jesus sad. And Marissa, get us started with the story of what happened next. Well, Pastor Jeff, when Jesus heard what had happened to his friend John, he wanted to be alone. That's understandable. So taking his disciples with him, Jesus went in a boat to a quiet place. But the crowds heard about this, and they followed Jesus on foot from the town. There probably weren't any roads to walk on. Oh, how they wanted to be with Jesus. When Jesus came ashore, he saw a very large crowd. Jesus felt compassion for them. They were probably also sad that John had died. Jesus healed their sick people. When it was almost evening, the disciples came to him. Jesus, there's nothing here. It's already getting late. Send the crowds they away. Go and buy some food in the villages. Jesus replied. Hey, you don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. We only have five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered. When the gospel writer John tells the story, he adds an interesting little detail. Conrad and Maya, please tell us about it. One of his disciples spoke up. It was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He said, Here is a boy with five small loaves of barley bread. He also has two small fish. Well, where will I go in such a large crowd? Not very far. Not very far at all. John has a little kid be the hero of the story. Right, Catherine. The story continues with Jesus calling for the small bit of food to be brought to him. Bring them here to me. He said. Then Jesus directed the people to sit down on their grass. Jesus took the five loaves and... The two fish. Jesus looked up to heaven and gave thanks. He broke the loaves into pieces. And the disciples gave them to the people. All of them ate and were satisfied. The disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftover pieces. There were well over 5,000 people who had enough to eat that day. Everybody shared what they had. Or what was out. Jesus invites everybody into the circle. Amazing grace, that's what that was. Unforgettable. Stupendous. Wow, that's amazing. Just incredible. You got that right, Nikki. That was downright astonishing. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I've never seen anything like it. 